Wentz fires, he completes it, spinning his Aguilar, breaks the tackle, he's in for a touchdown! Right, it is Packers Eagles Thursday night. Welcome to Good Morning Football. We are presented by Bass Pro Shops. Ah! ah! Trying to scare you there. Let's go. I got Howdy, you. Guys. I got you. Got me a little bit. You got me a little bit. <laughs> Peter Schrager, Kyle Brandt. This is Nate Burleson. Our show is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops, and this is the lead block. Lead block. Lead block. All about setting the stage for this awesome game Thursday night. It's Packers Eagles right here on NFL Network, and we're bringing you the latest between the Battle of Cheese Steaks up against the Cheese Heads or Cheese Curds, which are delicious. Love those curds. Oh my so gosh, delicious. all day. Let's send it over to Stacey Dales in Green Bay. Hey, how about this Packers defense? Just 12 points per game. They are giving up this season the second best scoring defense, but they have eight takeaways. That is tops in the NFL. Quarterback Aaron Rodgers talked to him yesterday. He knows that his offense, the 23rd scoring offense in the NFL, it's got to score more points. It's thankfully our defense has not only been opportunistic but stout, holding on the field goals uh, in the red zone, taking the ball away, putting us in good field position. Uh, it's, our, it's, it's time for us to do our part on offense moving forward. We're going to play some, you know, a stretch of, of uh, really good football teams. And at some point, you know, we can't expect our defense to shut everybody down. They have been. But at some point, the offense is going to have to wake up and, uh, and start making some plays. Specifically, Rogers said that this team has to be better in third downs, 25%, 9 of 36. He said if we convert those, more opportunities in the run game, the action passing game. And for the likes of Devontae Adams and Jimmy Graham, who had just five combined targets last week, he said we've got to get those two going if this offense is going to go where it needs to go. Stacey undefeated, not good enough for Aaron Rodgers on the Eagles side of things. Our very own Mike Garofolo reporting. Doug Peterson's continuing to say that he expects Alshon Jeffrey to play tomorrow. They have a full game plan in for him. Also hopeful running back Corey Clement will be able to go. Okay, gentlemen, thoughts on this? This is huge for them because, you know, we, I talked about this a little bit earlier, Shrakes. J.J. Orsega whiteside we like him. He could have pulled, went up and got yeah. that catch. He could have done it and did not. Miles Sanders making some rookie mistakes there as well. So to have a guy like Alshon Jeffrey back on the field is huge for this squad. Yeah, look, so it's Jeffrey Aguilar, Mac Hollins, and I guess Orsega whiteside will be the backup and work in there. But last week, Doug Peterson said Dallas Goddard's good to go, and he played nine snaps. Mm -hmm. So when I hear Alshon Jeffrey on a short week is good to go, it sounds like he's going to be in the game plan. That's a big difference than he's playing all right and fits well. So Alshon Jeffrey is a huge difference for this team, especially when it's been riddled with injuries. Yeah, him healthy, that's what they brought him for, right? The big plays down the field. Nelson Aguilar, who he wasn't catching balls like the dude was catching babies out of the fire. So he wasn't, he wasn't. Mm -hmm. He wants to bounce. He bounce, he bounce, he'll bounce back in this game. So those two guys, the one and two punch and having them on the field, they should be good. Got to have them. It's a playoff game for the Eagles. Everybody's got to play. It's a huge difference maker against that defense. All right, let's get to Y41 today, guys. Let's do it. At GMFP, with your answers, it is Eagles, it is Packers, it is in Green Bay for Thursday night football kickoff, and you can see it right here on NFL Network. I want to know the player that you will have your eyes on most, the hubba hubba heart eyes, the one that you are watching and spot shadowing Thursday night. Okay. I'm going to go with this guy. Fletcher Cox, he's mad, guys. He's mad. He is their best defensive player. The whole storyline is it. Aaron Rodgers' jersey is so clean. It's yeah. glistening. No one's touching him. Dirty that thing up, Fletch. You're mad. You're calling shots on people on Twitter. You're saying, I got time today. 91 needs to have a game. Get that thing dirty as I'll get out. Go get it. Here's my hot take of the morning. I'm not sure Fletcher Cox is the best defensive tackle in this football game. Kenny Clark. Okay. Where's number 97? He is just blowing up offensive lines. Everyone's going to talk about the Smith brothers, the two guys on the outside. Watch 97. He's doing Aaron Donald-like things inside. I, I got to say that this defense has been so impressive, and it's all these new additions, but Kenny Clark's been there, and he's been that good for so long. This is a national coming out party for Kenny Clark if he isn't a house. Peter Fletcher already. Cox watches the show, and he mad on Twitter. You're hey, talking to him right now. Fletcher, you might not be the most talented 2019 defensive tackle in this game. Go get him, Shrek. He's on production. Mm. This guy's oh. having a better year. Oh. 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 This is all fitting together because I'm going to be paying attention to the O-line for the 
hackers. I'm talking about the hog mollies, the big uglies. Because, listen, last week Aaron Rodgers didn't get sacked one time. We talked about it on the show. He had one pressure. Then after the game, said, man, my jersey was really clean. So if they keep Aaron Rodgers upright and clean mm -hmm. and they don't get pressure on him, he's going to be lighting up the scoreboard. So I'm watching that O-line for the Green Bay Packers. Yeah, that pass rush for the uh, Eagles side only has two Struggle. sacks all Struggle year. Bus. Michael Bennett, who they let walk over to the Patriots, has two sacks himself for that New England squad. Daniel Jones starting his second career game, his first game at home Sunday against the Redskins. The early fan favorite for a Daniel Jones nickname is... Danny Dimes. Mm. It's cool. It's okay. It's alliteration. Kyle feels some kind of way about it. It's a crutch. We're not sure if we like that at this table. It's certainly a contender. So if you had to come up with your own Daniel Jones nickname, it'd be what? It'd be my pleasure. What do you guys think? All right. Nate, who do you got? Uh, okay, I'm still writing here. I'll go first. A dime is like an old school currency. We have dimes, nickels, quarters. Mm. Go on and on. We could talk about Pence. coins. <laughs> this guy's new school. I'm going Danny Crypto. That's good, Peter. Danny Crypto. This guy is the Bitcoin of football. He's I like not it. some old currency. Danny Dimes is a slow, methodical quarterback. Danny Crypto is a lightning in a bottle. I'm going Danny Crypto. Faster, cooler, and more dynamic than your old school monetary measurements. What does that what does it like Benny from Hohoka sound like when he calls up and talks about Danny Crypto? Today on WFAN, Benny from Hohoka is gonna call, hey, do you see Danny Crypto? Oh, <laughs> Danny right. Crypto! 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 All right. Crypto. I like that um, that works. That works. You know, you know, I was going to go with just simple Daniel Day-Lewis. I'm like, Nate, that's too easy. You're more creative than that, so pick a movie. So I picked one of his movies from the early 90s. And I didn't even know this was one of his movies, but um, I'm going <laughs> to split the words up. Last of the Throwhicans, all right, because he can throw that rock. But I was looking at this movie, though, so he's an a Irish cat from British, and yeah. he's playing a, a Mohican. Sure, in America. In America. Yeah, right. um, and then there was the Mexican with Brad Pitt. Yep. There was the last samurai with Tom Cruise. <laughs> I, this is like a movie being called The Last White Dude on Earth starring Wesley Snipes. Yep. I'm just saying, let's just, let's just, let's categorize these movies correctly with who we cast. But a shout out to Daniel Day-Lewis, though. You stay alive. I will find you. Oh, my gosh. I fall in love with him in that movie. Um, Eli was a great dog. He's a great dog. Oh, we love God. Eli. He fetched. We grew up and took pictures together. But, you know, he started walking into sliding glass doors and needed that little stairway to get up on the bed. And we, we had to, he had to be disposed of. You know, so you know who Daniel Jones is? Here you go. New Yeller. Uh, <laughs> Never mind the old one. We got New Yeller. He's a fresh little puppy. It's like a reboot. He's excitable. He's a reboot. Control, alt, delete. Look at that New Yeller run. And he's fetching. And he's not rabid and we love him and he hugs us and he cuddles us. Goodbye, old yeller. Hello, new yeller. Take it away. New yeller, New York. I like it. New yeller. What does Benny from Hohoka sound like calling into FWFAN uh, this morning? I think he has some thoughts on how new yeller's life is going to end, too. It's, uh, Benny Hocus Hohoka loves old yeller. I don't know about crypt, Peter. There's something really morbid about crypt <laughs> yeah. that Benny Hocus could run through. Benny Hocus would call it yella. It new wouldn't yella, be yeller. That's what I was going to say. Yella. Who is the new yeller? I don't new know. New yella, right. yella kind of works. I like it. Uh, new the yeller. Show Friends celebrating its 25th anniversary this month. The NFL group of players or coaches that you'd most like to watch a 90s style sitcom about is who? I'm picturing right. it. Perfect Someone Strangers? Else. Like, what are we talking about? I'm going to go with Stand the Jets. Me. I'm going to go with the Jets, and I'm just very simple. Saved by the Bell. I mean, because this is what it is. You know, they're saved by Le'Veon Bell, of course, ah. because they don't have anybody. Seems like everybody's getting injured. And then on top of that, just like high school, uh, one of the star actors got mono from kissing somebody. Oh, yeah. You're right. <laughs> Never going to live that down. <laughs> Right. No, no. Hey, it's been a couple weeks. It happened. The mono jokes. It uh, happened. <laughs> it did happen. It did happen. It happened. Never forget. Uh, don't forget. One of my favorite Super shows from the nineties is uh, Seinfeld. And what would they say about yeah. Seinfeld? It's a show about nothing. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> That's good base work right there. <laughs> That's good base work. Matt Lafleur and Aaron Rodgers. All the drama. A show about nothing. That's what I want to see. This is exactly what it is. These guys are fine. They're getting along. It's okay. It's a show about nothing. Everyone's making articles and worried about audible calls. They're okay. You'll see on Thursday night, they're going to be just fine. It's LaFleur and Rogers, colon, a show about nothing. Hey, a coffee table book that becomes a table. Exactly right. uh, you know what? I actually am going to stay in the state of Wisconsin. The, the show I want to see is a whole bunch of friends who hang out together, and it's the Packers D. Ooh. They've been doing the assembling very quickly after every turnover, every getting together, and there's a hidden gem in this. What we got? A new member of the Packers defense is rookie Rashawn Gary, who revealed to us in the yes. offseason that he not only loves the show Friends, loves I'm not Friends. making this up, his favorite character is Ross. Yep. 
who's like your favorite Ninja Turtles, Leonardo. No one's favorite is Leonardo. Rashawn Gary, the rookie, the big strongie from Michigan, is a Ross guy. He loves it, and I respect that. Everybody can like Rachel and Monica, and I love that. That guy on the far right, the rookie from Michigan, and will go to fight for him. And I kind of think it's cool. Triggs, are you kind of a Ross guy or Chandler? I like Ross. I was more of a Joey guy. I thought, really? yeah, he's a, you know, he's hilarious. He's a, I the, the, feel like you always go for the guy that doesn't get enough love, so I thought you might be <laughs> I Ross. Something I'm Joey. I don't even yeah. know if Schwimmer is a Ross guy, but Rashawn Gary is. <laughs> yeah, I said to him, I said to Gary, I remember he was here, I'm like, big yeah. central perk guy? And he goes, yeah, the coffee shop, I love it. Like, it wasn't like serious, it was a bit, he it? loves right. Friends. Yeah. What's your favorite show? What are you watching these days? Like, <laughs> Succession, Euphoria, what's no, going on? Friends. friends, I watch Friends. Oh, okay. <laughs> Last week, Kyle, you did a video game themed highlight. Yep. It was awesome. Thank that you. was for Titans Jags yep. a week ago. And this week, Nate called Lamar Jackson a human cheat code. So I'd like to know the classic video game title that you would use to describe a current NFL team. All right, I'll jump right in with the New England Patriots and some say this could be Tom Brady's last season so going with Final Fantasy 7. Somebody's saying that it's his last season? Yeah, people yeah. say that he might ride off into the sunset or maybe Ooh. I just made that up for the sake Messed of uh, the segment. Final Fantasy yeah. Yeah. That's deep geek stuff. That's the, yeah. <laughs> I'm a deep geek fam. Right, well, listen, okay. here's the thing. Seventh ring, what if they get that? This would be the Final Fantasy and what has been a fantasy career for Tom Brady and the Patriots. Final Fantasy, like IGN message board. Yeah, that's right. You know, that's it. I'm going to go. There was a game on old Nintendo, the oldest Nintendo. Let's not go. Super, not the Let's other. go. Okay. And it had Mario on the cover, but it wasn't a Mario game. It was called Wrecking Crew. Okay. Of course. Oh. Where he played it. That's the Bears defense. Wrecking Crew. Go look up the cover for Me Wrecking Crew. It's just him as a demolition guy, and you're moving boxes, and you're moving things, and that's what they are. They are a wrecking crew. This performance they put on Monday night might have been lost because it was against the Redskins, who are struggling offense, or it might have been lost because it happened while you were sleeping. This first half was so dominant of the defense that it made me forget about the Packers and Patriots defense. Bears defense, still number one in my book. The Wrecking Crew. Nintendo. I know that you guy. got? The game that used to blow my mind was Dr. Mario. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. Pills and it was crazy. <laughs> uh, but I'll go even further back than Nintendo. I'm going to go to a game that premiered in 1971. And I think the Colts are on the trail. I, I think they're on the Oregon oh. Trail because Andrew Luck retires and Frank Reich said, we could choose to ford the river or okay. we could wait it out for the weather to change. We're going to ford the you gotta go. river. You got to go. And it didn't capsize. There was a little, they left a little monument. Here lies Andrew. We love him and everything. Yeah. And then Vinatieri, he, he was coming down with mumps or measles or something. Yeah. They might have to leave him behind, but they stopped and they purchased some medicine yeah. and they fixed him and Frank Reich is on the covered wagon with the oxen, oh. broken wagon wheels or not. Oxen. They're going to get there. They're not trying to go to Oregon. No they're, trying to go, they're trying to go to Miami. No, no, plenty of citrus. We spent good money on that citrus. <laughs> Oregon Trail, Frank Reich. Most stressful game ever. Oh, my God. History of the that world. River took the, so many. the hunting was stressful. Oh, my God. I hated those. That's Jacoby Brissett, though. Space bar, space bar, space bar. It was like you killed 6,000.